to store all of our projects for this boot camp. We are going to store each project in a separate folder, but we're going to have one folder to rule them all. So let's make that. Let's mukadir, M-K-D-I-R, mukadir, make directory. Let's name it XTBC or something. I don't care what you name this one. I'm not going to see it, but name it something sensible. And then keep in mind, after you make the directory, it's not just going to change you into that directory automatically. You're going to have to change into it yourself. So CD space. And I don't like typing, so I'm just going to hit X tab, and it auto-completes my file name. Remember that you can do that, because sometimes you'll get file names that are rather long, and it's nice to be able to tab complete them. So once you are in your XTBC directory, we're going to want to make a directory for our very first project. And uh, I think what we decided this morning was to make a whole app about the mess of Chris's that are in blockbuster movies these days. So let's make an app for that. So let's make a new directory for our new app, and we'll call it Chris Mess for our whole mess of Chris's. So Mukadur called Chris Mess. Change into Chris Mess. Don't forget to CD into that. And you have a new directory with nothing in it. And that's where our new project is going to go. Once you've done that, let's make some empty files to go in here. We can do that with the command touch. Touch just creates empty files. Or if the file already exists, it just updates the uh, updated at time. So uh, let's say touch index.html. Do not capitalize file names, by the way. Please don't put capital I index.html or you're going to have a bad time. I do, yeah. The fact that it's just Unixy right out of the box, it makes it a lot more like servers that you're going to deploy stuff to. So for open sourcey stuff, I do. Touch index.css and touch index.js. Now if you type ls in here, you should have just those three files and nothing else. Again, make sure you are in your Chris Mess folder. Or I will crush you! I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm Sorry. I'm Sorry. <laughs> that was mean. <laughs> mean but hilarious. Okay. <laughs> We're just going to move right past that. Thank you. So now what we want to do is actually open Visual Studio Code in this directory. So here comes the fun part where we find out uh, who has this configured correctly and who doesn't. So um, to open Visual Studio Code in this folder, we will just type code space dot. Dot refers to the current directory. You may know that dot dot is one directory level up. Dot is current directory. So code space dot should open Visual Studio Code specifically in that directory so that you only have those three files right there and you can just edit them, and there's no risk you're going to be creating files in the wrong place. Um, so you might have some command not founds and so on. We will deal with that. Uh, but if you're lucky, you see those three files right there. 